Yo, what it do, guys? It's your boy Supreme Chiha, the God, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about Marvel Action Spider Man, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. For those that do not know, that shit is on a different level, man. I swear to God, bro. So let me just look at my notes just to make sure, you know what I'm saying? I ain't too wrong. But first of all, actually, man, I was walking in the rain, bro. It was pouring rain. I was actually skating. And man, it was cold as hell, bro. It was freaking freezing, man. And because I, I was running late for an interview and I got there and thank God I got to reschedule it for tomorrow. So, you know, hopefully fingers crossed I kill it. Um I mean my experience is beyond belief, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so hopefully I get it. But uh you never know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so it my uh, the Marvel Action Spider Man, it's 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 a collaborative effort with IDW. Um it's it's similar to like Marvel Adventures, if anybody knows or remembers that shit. I actually don't really know much about Marvel Adventures, but it's supposed to be from uh like the same ilk. Um so, you know, as a result, I suppose this is like um it's just it's 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 basically it ties in with the movies, you know what I'm saying? If you've watched the cartoons, you've seen the movies, you can hop right in. It's for those that don't read the comics readily, you know what I'm saying? So you can hop in at any time and not be super confused about it. So like for example, Gwen Stacy, Miles Morales, and Peter Parker are all like 16 and they all live not too crazy far away from each other. Uh, not like, you know, Gwen in the comics lives in a whole different dimension. Um, you know, so it's, 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 you know, there's that huge disparity and in, in the, in the actual continuation, actual run as well. Um, Miles is like, is much younger than Peter. Uh, Peter is, you know, in his twenties, probably married to, to, um, to Mary J. Watson. I don't know. Mary Jane, Mary Jane. I said Mary J. Um, <laughs> like the marijuana uh but yeah so um you know it's 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 pretty interesting so basically what happens is all three of the kids um have an internship program an inter an internship program with the daily bugle and the winner of that gets to meet tony stark uh, i'm not going to try to ruin it too much uh so far i think there's only like six six um uh, issues out um First of all, actually, before I even talk about that, man, shout out to the author, man. Um, her name is De Delia Dawson, and she's absolutely great, man. And she's she's a huge fan of the comics. Of you know, she grew up reading Spider Man. Um, she actually she started reading it actually a little late in comparison to you know when she was a fan. And it was it was pretty interesting to hear her story. And she she actually even got bullied for the shit, bro. She used to wear uh, a Miss Marvel. No, not Miss Marvel, uh, Spider-Woman uh, pajamas, and she didn't even realize who, she didn't even know who Spider-Woman was, but all she knew is that she wanted that PJ, you know what I'm saying? So it was really, really interesting, and you can you can feel the passion oozing out. The only thing I would complain about a little bit is the art. Uh, it's very kiddish, a little bit kiddish, but it, it's, you know, it's okay. It's not amazing. Um you know they're all a little short it's 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 like uh tin titans go not that cartoony obviously jesus but it's it's you know in that ilk um mm. that's that's my biggest complaint about it story wise it's again you know it's supposed to be a, a, a tie in of the movies and all that shit so you get uh so you get kind of uh spider verse miles ish kind of ish Gwen Spider Verse ish. I don't know you. It's it's weird. It's it's weird to kind of explain it. Um, just because it's it's a, it's just supposed to be its own fresh type story anyway. Um, but yeah. So they're trying to get the internship to meet uh, Mister Stark. Um, and I suppose that that really ties it into the MCU. So they're trying to meet Mister Stark, and um, you know, I, I see. I don't want to ruin it. I'm trying to think of how to not spoil it for you guys. Uh. And I suppose they, they're all, it, it, oh yeah, they asked him, so who's your favorite superhero? And every other place is, it's either Captain America, uh, Iron Man, or Spider-Man. And every, like the Captain America and Iron Man things are full. Uh, and Spider, Spider-Man, is it's, it's it, you know, they have a fan club, of course, but it's not packed. Uh, so they, they, they go in there. Um, Peter's last, he goes in there. He, he sees the two of them sitting together already. 
And I thought initially that Gwen and, 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 and Miles already knew each other, just by the way they seemed. But it turned out that they didn't. They all just met at that time. Uh, it's a pretty independent story. There's these rabid um, dogs, even though they look like rats. I swear down. I thought they were rats uh, attacking New York all over the place. And they were basically trying to... Wow, what a goal. They were basically... <laughs> <laughs> they're basically trying to defeat those. I mean, they're not really struggling with it. Uh, it's it's one of those stories that's probably more about the character than it is about anything else. Uh, Craven comes through into the fold later on. He's he's fantastic in it. Um, we have uh, Doctor Connors, aka Lizard, Doctor Lizard. Uh, he's he's in it. And uh, there's just you know there's a bunch of uh, good elements. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I think the writing is very true to the stand. Eh, maybe not exactly, but. Do it. You can feel the personality a little bit. Like uh, Delia's own personality definitely shines through. Uh, you know, or you know, his writing style shines through because it's not exactly like a Stanley comic. Because I think there's a little bit more weight on a Stanley comic than this one. This one's a little bit more friendly, a little bit more campy, a little bit more chilly. Uh, but it's still very, very good. Like the writing so far, I I've enjoyed it. Um, you know, which is not uh, often I'm saying the, that anymore these days. Uh, with with comics, uh, they just haven't been as phenomenal as they could be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's all action, action, action. Not enough interaction between the different people, and I think that's that's kind of a letdown, bro. I I, I miss when comics talked about, you know, just relationships and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? All the boring stuff or whatever the drama. You know what I'm saying? I want to see them grow as people instead of them always fighting you know what i'm saying and this yes you get fighting but it's 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 way more toned down and you really feel like you get to know the characters uh, a hell of a lot more than you do with other stories so that's that's the great thing about it you know what i mean to be honest i really i really like that aspect of it i think they did that really really well um and yeah, and I think that's that's mainly what the story focuses on. To be honest, I again I'm avoiding ruining too much of it, uh, but you know I let you know a little teaser of the type of villains that are going to be there, and uh, the story is interesting, and you guys should definitely check it out. So that's it really for Marvel action Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? It's been your boy Supreme Uchiha, the God. I'm out.